One of the many things that we take for granted that has a direct impact on your WordPress site security is your web hosting company itself. Simply because if your web hosting company is not upgrading and updating the, for example, PHP and MySQL and their other softwares that run their server, then that could be a potential security breach. So having any site on there, WordPress, Joomla, or Drupal, or any other HTML site, there can be a breach simply because they have not updated their software. Now, I will say that if you're using a web hosting company that is well known, you probably don't have anything to worry about because they probably upgrade their server frequently and are looking to secure their servers. Now, one thing that you could do to check is if you go to wordpress.org slash about slash requirements, you will see the requirements to run your WordPress site at optimal speed and at optimal environments. So if you're not aware, I would recommend that you check your, with your web hosting company whether they have something that is this version or greater. Now, as you're watching this video, this could change. So make sure that you go to the site to get an updated version of the actual versions of PHP and MySQL. Now, if you're not aware of web hosting companies that WordPress.com recommends, if you go to WordPress.org slash hosting, and you scroll down, you'll see Bluehost, Dreamhost, and Laughing Squid are recommended. Now, you don't have to use these, but these are just recommended. And if you're using a different web hosting company, that's fine. Just make sure that they have an updated version of these two items. Because most people don't realize this, but if you're on a shared server, for example, and you have one of those websites. It doesn't have to be your website because it's a shared server. In this case, you're sharing the server with, it could be hundreds to a thousand people. If one of those websites gets infected, it could actually impact all of the websites on that same server. So just keep that in mind. So if you have a lot of sites and you're concerned about this issue, you could get what we call a virtual private server. In fact, Servant is one of the best web hosting companies that I can recommend. And they start out fairly cheap, $49 a month, and they go up from that point. A virtual private server basically means that you have your own virtual area. So out of the server, you're domains don't necessarily affect other people's domains as well. So if somebody else gets a, an infected website, that will not affect you. Or if their server goes down, it doesn't affect you. But regardless, if you're using shared hosting, that's fine too. Just keep in mind to make sure that your server and your web hosting company is frequently updating their software and they have something that is greater than these two.